he always had an amazing, just natural free hand. When we were in architecture school, uh, we all kept sketchbooks for this one studio that we were in together, and his sketches were just, you know, 10 times better than anything that anyone else could do. When he, his hand started to get weak, because that was the first thing, ironically, that was affected, um, he started using a mouse. Uh, so he was using that for a while, and then, um, uh, you know, eventually his hands just got too weak for him to even use a mouse. Francis was just dreaming, and he was somewhere else. I would ask him, since I spend about eight hours with him every day from Monday to Friday, uh, where, what do you think, Francis, what's going on? I'm dreaming of drawing. He's not one to complain, you know, he's just kind of taking this all in stride. So I don't think I really noticed the difference until he got the eye gaze. And at that point, it's like, whoa, okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, he's back, you know, that's, uh, he's got this device now and he, he has a way to, to get it out. His eyes got tired, but he was smiling and just another man. And then suddenly he was just, you know, producing image after image. He was posting them on Facebook. He was interacting with people a lot more. Um, so yeah, it really, it really did make a huge difference. And then especially since we moved away from a lot of the people that he would have contact with, you know, just staying in touch with people is, is so important. His sister put together an online store. There was a lot of kind of discussion of, well, should we say what's going on? And eventually, I think, you know, Francis decided that he was comfortable making a statement about, you know, what the store was all about and, and everything. So he put that statement up on his store. And, um, and then once he got the eye gaze device, you know, then we started posting images of that and making product, you know, uh, t-shirts and posters and stuff like that. The eye gaze, just looks like professional art. And I, I can imagine some people are probably thinking, no, that's not possible, <laughs> you know. For somebody who doesn't have use of their arms and legs, it really is, it, it's completely life-changing. So here he is, and he's doing an amazing job. I, I see his work and uh, it's just unbelievable.